Hello, beautiful Libras. Welcome to your horoscope, taroscope, life path and abundance report for February 2021. Libra, let's look at what spirit wants to talk about. Let's see. We have the fates. All right. Look at she's holding this beautiful little set of stars that she didn't see coming. Ooh, like that. Look at the next card, milk and honey with a rainbow rainbow abundance nice sweet abundance and then we have observer spirit just wants you to keep your eyes open we have a cat here no it's a coyote and looking at the moon through a telescope interesting all right, Libra, on your, this is Libra rising also. So we have the, the card that tells us in your first house, right now, you're very calm, you're very serene, that for many of you, you're just going through your daily life in a very upbeat way. When we look at the card of patience, this is temperance. We see you really staying very balanced, very, you know, you're good natured, you're happy, you're calm, you want everything to be, you know, very nice. You're just really being very calm, very um, typical Libra self, right? A beautiful spirit that you are. Your seventh house of relationship and partnership, this can be business partnership. It can also be the legal relationships of partnership, like your doctor who gives you health advice, your lawyer who gives you legal advice, and your financial advisor for finances. But it does represent the marital partner, if you have one, or a committed partnership that is marriage-like. The seven of coins says that for many of you, you're very content content right now. Your relationship is developing. For those of you who are not in a specific relationship, it does look like you have people around you with whom you are invested in, in terms of other relationships that are significant. It's a beautiful energy. You know, when we look at this card, we see, we see the people around you looking at you like you're this itty bitty beautiful fairy. You have lightness of being. They see you in this very magical way right now, Libra. But you're ruled by Venus. And now we have Jupiter, the planet of abundance. So you have abundant beauty. You look beautiful right now. People are going to comment on how absolutely elegant you look. We look at your second house of earned income, things that you value. You truly have very traditional values. We have Scorpio. You are fiercely uh, private about your money house, about everything that you believe in. You have a tendency to be very... Um, very secretive almost about it. It's okay. Scorpio also is a natural ruler of the eighth house. It really looks as though you want a traditional relationship in which you can enjoy an abundance of lovemaking because Scorpio rules the sexual, sexual house, the house of passion. Um, you want your relationships though to be, you, you tend to like marital relationships or relationships in which you are are manifesting uh, a marriage. If you are not currently married, what we're getting here is this beautiful Hierophon energy, and it is Taurus energy of the second house. So it means that for many of you, if you're simply looking for work or you have a good job already, that you will continue to gain a claim. You will continue to be elevated. Some of you could actually receive a promotion that increases your abundance this month. So when we look at your eighth house of other people's money, now this is a partner's money. This could be an inheritance. This would be loans, bank loans, taxes, anything of that sort. The moon here indicates that you are feeling maybe not so clear about what you have in terms of investments. Investments could be going through a very volatile period of time. If you're married, your partner's money may be 
you know, in, in a situation where you could have great gains or you could have some losses here. But when we have Mars with Aquarius, you're taking a very active role. Your partner, you know, you're watching this very, very closely. Mars and Uranus means you're very active. Again, for many of you, this can mean that you get some sort of financing or that you're, you have a great expansion um, in terms of your investments. When we look at your third house of your local neighborhood, you feel pretty content. We get the five of earth, which does say that, you know, you that, that I would say the pandemic is probably keeping you at home too much. The five of earth says that you feel sort of closed out, but with Jupiter right here ruling your third house of neighborhood, what I'm seeing is, you know, you, you feel pretty content. You just feel very cut off from the people around you. Um, you don't see much of the people that you enjoy talking to in your neighborhood. When we look at your Ninth house now, we're looking at the house of um, it's Gemini ruled. We're looking at higher education for you, learning something new. We see this beautiful four of fire. That is a four of wands. So for some of you, you may have, uh, you may be meeting someone um, or go, okay, so I'm going to, there's a couple of different aspects here. The four of fire is a traditional marriage card, okay? So what we see is that you could have uh, a partner who is a professor at a university. It could be that simple. You could have, you could go into a situation in which you meet somebody and by going back to school, you may form a an alliance. The four of fire means that you may become a professor. You may move into a job in which, you know, you're teaching philosophy at a university. It's also international travel. So you may have a home abroad. Uh, but we, we, you know, what we're seeing here is this is elevated thought, philosophy. It's very much higher education, but it's also your belief system, other countries, other cultures. And so for some of you, you know, there might be the desire to travel right now to buy a home in another country. So when we look now at your fourth house, now this is actually your physical home, your home. Pluto, Capricorn, we see transformation here. This is most likely that, that you, you know, for many of you, you're either renovating a home or you're selling a home or you're buying a home or all the above. <laughs> So it's gorgeous energy because when we see this, this card of transformation, um, you know, the fates may literally bring you some opportunity. And that's what we're seeing um, in this reading is that things may just come out of the blue for you. When it when we're looking at your career, your career is stable. You are a rock star with cancer on this house. We see you, you know, ruled by the moon. You for some of you, you may <clears throat> literally be an interior decorator. You but you're a rock star that you are very beloved that your work relationships feel like family to you. That you are in this rock star status, it's recognition, it's hopes and dreams for your career coming true. These are things that you've worked for, that you've earned, and you are enjoying that level of success. You know, we see this milk and honey card, and there's so much good fortune sprinkled throughout your chart. It's just gorgeous. You know, keep your eyes open, observe what's going on around you. Now, you have never been more exciting in your life. You will have a turn of events during the month of February. You have a lineup and this is your ninth house of water. This is, excuse me, this is the nine of cups card. This is your fifth house of romance, of sensuality, the act of sex, the taking on a lover, romance. It could be, you know, if you have a child, it could be having a child. This 
is a buildup of energy that makes you feel vibrant and excited. And it's something that is, it seems out of the ordinary. You're very eccentric, I believe, because you have Aquarius here and the Aquarius star that many of you are involved in some sort of publishing, um, you're creating something that is now going to pay off very big for you because this is a house of creativity. This is the, the children of your body, literally, or of your mind, your creative ideas that come to the surface. Very beautiful, very unusual. You have Jupiter, the planet of expansion is here for a year. The Sun card, you're able to express yourself in a way that you have never been able to express yourself since 1962. We have not had this many planets in your fifth house in Aquarius at the same time. Venus conjunct Saturn, brings you the possibility of someone whom you will date, who will you will have a great deal of fun. This is eat, drink, be merry, enjoy. This is a party card. Get out, circulate as best you can. And this may bring you Venus and Saturn is a second house um, of, excuse me, it's, a, it's your Libra house. Venus and Saturn rule Libra. So what I'm seeing is that if you are not married currently, that you are likely to meet someone that you marry. And then we also have the Hierophant here, marriage and what you value. You might even get married secretly when you're away from home. You could meet somebody and marry suddenly with this Mars Uranus. So we see this gorgeous energy though. This is a long-term commitment. Whatever you enter now, take it very seriously because it is dazzling, it is beautiful, and it will last a very long time. So if you find yourself in a romance with somebody that you would not want to marry, be careful because you might slip and fall into a chapel. So, so I really love the energy for you. I believe for you with this Venus and Saturn, which are your natural rulers, uh, you know, and you rule the seventh house. I just see this absolutely beautiful time in your life when you can meet somebody or you can continue from a romance into an engagement, you know, one in which you're really assessing a partner for what they bring to the table and your partner, your partner's looking at you the same way. When we look at the beautiful 11th house for you, we have the Ace of Fire. You are beginning a whole new life in an arena of friendships. Again, they could be your partner's friends. Um, it, but it really shows a time in your life when your hopes and your dreams are coming to fruition, new beginnings. It's a time when you could be very out in the public, um, spending a lot of time uh, in venues, public venues. Uh, it's an exciting time for you, Libra. You know, Libra, you tend to be very serene and very calm and you don't toot your own horn, but other people are seeing the, the absolute stunning version of you with this beautiful enlightened energy. When we look at your sixth house of daily life, we have Pisces here, Neptune and Pisces. For some of you, I would absolutely say, you know, this is this is a horoscope to consult with your doctor. Um, you know, the seventh house, Aries energy. Consult with your doctor over anything that seems amiss with your health. Because with Neptune there, you know, Neptune rules the liquids or the waters of the body. So it does indicate that with Neptune, tune there. You might be feeling fatigued every day. You might be, you're having so much fun over here. Uh, the bed springs are squeaking, to be quite honest. So some of this might be that you wake up every day feeling a little bit tired. It also tells me that your sleep patterns may be disrupted. It's also that you may have a lot of dreams while you sleep. But Neptunian energy in your sixth house of your daily affairs, your health, 
your pets. Just be on the lookout for that because Neptune is there for, you know, a while. We've got um, some more years. You've already had some years with Neptune there. So just really be certain that you're, you're maintaining a good health regimen. Be really super aware that you may have the uh, more allergic type reactions uh, to things. Now, on a creative level, off the charts energy, absolutely off the charts. So you might have difficulty with the communication sometimes. So journal, you know, just, I would almost say, keep keep your phone app open where you could record dreams and so forth so that you can later clarify them to have this beautiful energy of the four of fire uh, in your ability to communicate effectively. When we look at the 12th house, you do seem to have a heartbreak that's troubling you. you. It might be a Virgo energy, but it also might be the energy of someone around you, Libra. Three swords through the heart also means that for some of you, you could be involved in a secret affair, a secret liaison. Uh, that can be a third party situation, but it really speaks to the fact that you may have some Simply lost somebody, you know, that you're still, that could be a parent, you know, Virgo energy also could mean like a co-worker, you might be missing an old job or a different way of, of living, but I really don't see this as anything that is uh, going to be too difficult. I feel as though you are, for some of you, oh, this is beautiful too, you may be able to communicate with an ancestor. Uh, or one of the ancients in your family. So it does speak to a certain telepathy, but there's something that you're hiding. There's something in the 12th house that you're hiding. Again, if you have any inkling that there you could have a health problem, be sure to, you know, check with somebody you trust professionally uh, in the in in the field of health. Now your advice, Libra, this is, I just, to me, romance is lit here. Um, you know, you're in this situation, your career, your romance, it looks as though you could be meeting somebody through work, somebody who recognizes your work, somebody who, you know, this is recognition. This is sort of like the, the hopes and dreams coming true, like really getting recognized for your contribution, for your creative contribution, but you are our romance is just brighter than I think it's ever been for the majority of you. Your, you know, what we have here for the advice is water guardian. Connect with your emotions. You know, stay grounded because with all this air sign energy, it's easy to sort of uh, lose track of how you're feeling in your heart space. But with the star card there. I feel as though you're going to be pretty grounded. You're going to be really connected to your heart chakra. When we look at the actual deep level advice from spirit, we have spirit, the, the cat spirit oracle, and it's adventure. Meet Lion Mew. He is an adventurer, an explorer, a traveler, and seeker of lost worlds. He likes to feel the wind rippling through his fur, the excitement of not quite knowing what he might discover. <laughs> observing, paying attention. I love it. Um, he might, it is time to leave the safe havens of your comfy home and routine to seek out distant shores and unknown lands. Widen your circle of experience and step into a different point of view. Distance and diversity gives you a lift in perspective. Home never looks the same from afar. Remember the journey outward illuminates the journey inward. Live your life as a grand adventure right now, Libra. For those of you who would like to have a free reading, please enter the contest. The details are in the description box, as is my personal reading information, how to connect to my website for personal reading. Sending you love and light, Libra. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Namaste. Take care. Bye-bye.